Greetings dear ones and welcome to this last full moon video of this year and I will as always begin with the energies that I picked up around this full moon and then we will move into the healing transmission the energy and light language healing and so this is a full moon in Gemini and the energies of the last new moon is still lingering it was very dreamy energies very fluid very expansive and a call to turn inwards and these energies are still here uh, but we have this element of Gemini that is all about the mind and about communication and this uh, full moon is also affected influenced by Mars and Mars has this um, uh, this this um, masculine energies uh, of um, it has this um, ability to uh, to ignite what it uh, what it comes in contact with so we have this Mars masculine energies and the feminine energies of the full moon so there is this beautiful dance between the two of them uh, and what it means is that since <clears throat> the full moon holds these feminine energies turns us towards our true self our uh, internal world our um, the expression and the identification with our, uh, us as divine beings so what the influence of the masculine Mars energies do to this is that it brings awareness to how we can how we can respond through our divine self from a place of being in contact with our divinity how we can put this um, our inner, inner reality out there how we can express our divine nature and since this last month that we have been through this um, all these powerful portals are like the 11-11 portal and the eclipse season, the eclipses we've been through and we have been shredding so much of the old layers of the our shadow selves it is like at this time as our per personality if we look at our personality, our personality is uh, made up of our program selves, how we are program to react um, what we call our pers personality traits is I'm like this and um, this is who I am and this is who I've always been and this is how I show up and how, how I respond to things but this is all programs and when they are falling apart we are becoming we are coming into a state of um, not really being not being able to hold on to what the ways we use to respond and show up in the world and this may cause some confusion but instead of just being lost in this energy of of no space of uh, the void uh, the masculine en energies is coming into play and to help us to to navigate not to pick up the lower the programs of the lower uh, mind that we are leaving behind but helping us to direct our energies in what we want how we want to proceed and how we want we choose to respond and what we want to carry with us as we move forward so this is a great time to deeply look into what the old ways of doing things to act in our external reality but also how we respond internally and to see as Einstein said that if we are doing 
the same things, we are getting the same result, right? So if this hasn't been working for you, choose to make something, choose to make a change, choose to do it differently. And this is what we are, the energies are helping us with, to see this hasn't served me, this direction is not leading me to freedom, to expansion to expansion and joy and love so what do i want to how do i want to show, show up and how do i want to respond so when this happens in my outer world this is my immediately immediate respond and this is how i'm programmed but can i choose differently and this takes courage and strength and very much willpower and that is where, where the Mars energy is helping us to decide. I choose to do this differently. I choose to vibrate high. I choose to, no matter what I meet today or what conversation I'm in, I choose not to lower my frequency. I choose to stay in this inner state of peace. So the full moon energy is calling us in, inwardly to our center, to our zero point, where we are connected to our divine self. And the Mars energies are helping us to stay and choose to stay in this place of peace and love instead of allowing us to go into our old triggers and when we do choose to return and again and again and the Gemini is also this dance between our human aspect and our divine aspect and this is again um, our ability to choose and to become aware do I lean on my eternal self or do I lean on my limited self my human self or do I choose to use my human self as to be in service for my divinity or do I choose to allow the limited old programs to become who I am and to be my reaction to this world and just continue that same old road or do I truly allow my mind and my will to be, an, to be the expression of the will of God that is also my will allow my allow source to flow through me and for me to direct this energy and this vibration so this is um, a dance between the, the human self our divine self the internal and the external the old programs our personality and what we are stepping into what we are um, allowing to be our new expression, our new reality, our new new state of being. Okay dear ones, um, so we will move into this the energy transmission and uh, it will be a light, light language and energy healing and activation for us to discern. Let me see. Okay, I will tune in. So what they will bring forth is um, the ability to let go of the old, the old programs, uh, the ability to let the old personality that is not who you truly are to fall away and to 
be comfortable in that state of nothingness where the new may enter. So what we do many times is that we seek the old, we, 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 we are uncomfortable with this um, void and we turn to what is known, even though it's something that we have left behind that is not um, a vibrational match anymore. So we have the free will and to be open and receive downloads of who you truly are, your divine expression. Okay, dear ones. And I want you to really settle in, to take a deep breath. Let go of your mind, let go of the house, let go of what you are leaving behind and the thoughts of where you are going and just be here. And breathe, be here now, become empty. So they are helping you right now to expand your energy field, field coming to your heart and allow your heart to expand. Uh, they tell you to become an uh, even greater vessel for source light. Shukur Sasha, because when we identify with our human self, we become contracted. Karatiko Shokoto, and we become limited. Karata Yana Arakiko Sunusho. Surutushana, because it holds the energy of fear. Mu'urusunayakitushana, and they say this is also the miracle of abundance, to allow abundance in all its form to flow to you. Shimunurana kinarasa shatraku inurushutushan. So they show that if you are ready to receive, you might. You need to be expanded and to reach out your arms. So they are bringing clarity into your head. And they ask you to not allow yourself to be occupied by the thoughts or by thoughts Tushana rakinguru sifurtana kitush shinura shai anako they say be brave enough to let him go be brave enough to hold on to nothing nasitra kinuru tushana imur sakinarana so what are you showing me that they say that so many of us are holding on to the past and the limitations. You know, they show this um, like monkeys jumping in the trees. They need to take that leap to let go of the trees, one tree to be able to make the leap to the other and to they need free hands to hold on to the new, to receive the new. And it's a leap of faith, a leap of trust. So they say that all this is waiting for you, but they will not, they are not able to, to pull you there or drag you there. And this is not how it works because our free will is our greatest gift. And that is respected. So what I ask right now is do you have, do you, choose to let go, to choose to allow a higher 
lifetime to flow to you. And they say right now to connect with joy, to rest in the feeling of all your answers, your, all your prayers being answered. How does that feel? Can you feel how safe you walk upon this earth? If you knew that all your prayers are answered, has already been answered. And they applaud you. They say, now you are with us. Can you feel that lightness? Can you feel that joy? Can you feel that peace and that feeling of celebration of gratitude Attune to joy, the elementals are here. Panatiti puru kuku kushan a e kuku ku titi pere papa pai e e e. And they say we are miracle workers. Why are you holding back to all the miracles we wish to gift you with? Don't you understand the formula they say? That when you are in gratitude for all the miracles that awaits you, they are yours. Don't be afraid, they say, to let go of the past. Don't be afraid to let go of the limitations and the old programs. Don't be afraid to leave behind your old ways of responding and reacting. And they say, yes, you can do this. And they explain that the element of joy is so what they say is that the element of joy is what is helping us to move beyond our old ways of, of reactions. And they show that we are holding on very hard to um, all the mental activities and all the old programs and how we think things should be and one step leads to another and if I go in this direction, this will be the outcome and they say let go and expect miracles and they say also that joy is a is a frequency to help us to remind us of us of, uh, of our divine self so they say that have you ever seen a butterfly a caterpillar turned into a butterfly that chooses to not use its wing that chooses to keep crawling on the ground and they say this is what many of you do you are resisting the transformation 
because you are you do not believe in miracles you do not allow yourself to uh, let go and to um, leave ground to um, to use your wings sinuru kasha pitinara kisanara sasotosh amnur okiar anitishanai and expand karana kokorono and connect even deeper to joy tarana kikarana to possibilities and the miracles tarana kinarana sofurana and i tell you to now hold out your hands and receive suntoru kikikishinai and connect to not really the form of what you wish to receive but the energies and the vibration of it love joy peace abundance in all its form flows to you opportunities tarana connection Freedom, paratiku sunoku shunuru du 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 shana presence and arakakaka strength and courage paraki korono du du shununu and breathe in the new pushuto shunara ki san araki kakur utushu avapatanar isanara ki toshai alaya tarana kosho sumunuru kukus. She turkan arkikur sanai. And I tell you not to give up. Not to give up and fall into the old programs. Many of them are deeply rooted. And this physical. Um, reality is very dense and it takes time to shift to love the new to become your your true your nature so go gentle on yourself enjoy the process don't look just to the final destination but enjoy the journey and choose again and again even though you feel like you don't give the you get the results that you are wishing for keep on going keep on going keep on going because they are you are clearing layer by layer healing layer by layer and you are never going back but keep on, keep on. So make a commitment daily when you wake up, when you sit in your daily meditation and you connect to the energies you wish to carry on into the day as joy, as peace, as love, as abundance and greatness. Make a commitment to no matter what the day has for you, you will stay in that vibration. And when you find yourself moving into all programs and, rea- and patterns of re- reactions to choose to come back. And this is how we shift our life situations and our internal and external reality. Okay, dear ones, I wish you a blessed full moon. And I see you soon. Thank you.